born player in the majors. It was a piece of history that saw him awarded by the Minister of Sport and Recreation at the National Awards, and it also inspired other young players from the continent. He recently announced a move to the Toronto Blue Jays after spending nine years with the Pittsburgh Pirates and will be returning to Florida for training in January. For now, though, he's back home after his most significant season, and he joins us on Morning Live today. A very good morning and welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Uh, so it's been quite a season, hasn't it? And it's been quite a return back home, considering everybody that just wants to get a piece of your story and get a piece of you. Yeah, I mean, you know, coming back from my trip overseas and after everything that I did this season and everybody contacted me and, you know, just trying to get a piece of the story and uh, I'm doing as much as I can and trying to get out, get out there and tell the, the world my story. Okay, and wrap up that story for us because it started very humble beginnings, two years old at the Ramberg Mets baseball field. Yeah, I was about two years old and moved to Ramberg and then at the age of three I started playing baseball uh, for the Ramberg Mets and uh, my journey just started from there. I'm starting um, throwing against the ball against the wall and uh, the coach yelling at me and saying, hey, come, o come over and join us. And, uh, that's how everything started. I played for the South African team at a young age, traveled around the world with the South African baseball team. I was very fortunate. And then 2007, went to Italy for the MLB Academy and uh, got reinvited in 2008, and that's when the Pittsburgh Pirates saw me. And uh, tell us about the strong connection between mom as well as your brother, Victor. Um, it's a very strong connection. I mean, we cannot... I cannot describe our relationship. It's just one of those unique relationships that you have in life. Uh, me and my mom were always together, doing everything together from, you know, what a mom is supposed to do at a young age and give me everything without even me asking for things. And uh, when my, my little brother was born, I was actually hoping for a girl and a boy came out and I was like, you know, <laughs> thanks mom. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, but he's been such a blessing to my life and he's always um, seeing everything at a positive light, no matter what's going on in his life. And he's able to help me at the same time. Just help us understand this. So it was you, your mom and your brother all living in a small room at the Ramberg Mets uh, baseball club because your mom used to be the domestic help at, at the club? Yes. Uh, so there was three of us, actually. Christopher is the oldest one. I'm the second and then Victor. And uh, we came in at all different times, but all three of us, four of us, lived at the baseball club on the, that my mom got given for working at the, at the clubhouse. My word. And could you ever have imagined the journey that you followed when you picked up that ball so many years ago? It was just all a dream when I was a young kid. Um, I just remember telling somebody that I want to play in the Major League Baseball team one day, you know, when I was, a, when I was 12 years old. And... A couple of years later, um, on the pitch for uh, on the pitch for Pittsburgh Pirates, making my debut. The power of thought and the power of word. I'm going to take you back to a clip that I found on the internet um, from 2009. It was when you just actually signed your contract. So just take a look at this. Many, many years ago, a young gift, he had just signed that professional contract. He was uh, with the South African baseball team. Listen to what he had to say. Yeah, there is some nerves. I mean, if you don't have nerves, then there's something wrong with you. I don't know, but every person has nerves somewhere along the line. I mean, it's going to be very hard for me because my family is, like, very far, like, 10,000 miles, per, like, somewhere there, and I won't see them for, like, eight months or something. And, yeah, so I'm going to just try my best and do what I can. So that was when you were wide-eyed and didn't know anything about what it was going to be like actually living and playing in the United States from then until now and how your perception has changed. Um, just my pers perspective of the, the game. Um, everything was different, the culture and how they did things. Um, here at home, we only played the games once a week and we practiced twice a week. And then over there, we played games every day and we practice every day. So that aspect of it, your body, how much, how much your body takes, uh, the mental capacity of the game and everything like that, it changes you as a person and changes you as a player. And uh, yeah, you just got to grow and, and find what works for you and what you need to work on. And that's how I've come to work on my game and I'm still working on my game today.
It's rather cutthroat. After that uh, debut with the Pittsburgh Pirates in the majors, they then sent you back to Indianapolis and they said that you had to work on a couple of things. I mean, for many people standing on the outside, they would say, sure, is that's, that's quite a blow. I mean, it's, it's a little rough business to be in. Um, but you know what, If you've you got to be productive and that's the only way you can stay on the top. They told me that I have to work on specific game, like small game, as I call it, uh, my bunt game, my moving the runner, uh, scoring the guy on third. I mean, there are little things in, in baseball that people don't know about here at home, but they do play a big role in the United States, playing um, at, at top level. Um, so I went back and was working on everything that I needed to work on in order to get back up to the top. I mean, it's amazing just to be able to stay motivated and to keep your head in the game. Uh, what keeps you able to do that? Um, I mean, this journey is very hard and I've been through my difficulties and my struggles along the way. And having my friends and family that always believed in me from the beginning and uh, people along the way when I didn't believe in myself gave me uh, that boost to believe in myself again when things were going a little bit rough. Um, just the people that have always been in my life, uh, my, my friends and my family basically have you know, got me through everything that I went through in those nine years of, base of playing professional baseball. And now you're going to the Toronto Blue Jays, just tell us a little bit about the move. So I was just relaxing in bed um, two nights ago and uh, the Pittsburgh Pirates player development guy called me and he was like, hey, uh, you've always been a, a bucko for nine years and now it's time for you to explore your, your, your journey and now you've been um, traded to the Blue Jays. Wow, okay, are you excited about that? I'm very excited. It's a new challenge and a new adventure for me and uh, new beginnings uh, with a new team. And I mean, it's the same goals that I have to make the major leagues out of spring training and continue to play in the major leagues for as long as I can. And yeah, but just with a new team. After you made your major league debut, uh, many youngsters across the continent heard your story and I read an article about a youngster from Ethiopia that was inspired and he says he wants to follow in your footsteps and just as we close off this interview your words of advice to youngsters because as you've also alluded to it's not an easy journey to be a professional baseball player. Yeah I mean just keep your mindset uh, very strong uh, you're going to find difficulties along the way you're going to find people saying that you won't make it people told me the same thing you know make it you're not strong enough you're not big enough and you know, hard work beats talent. And if you keep your mind to whatever you need or set your mind to those specific goals, you can achieve anything. Lovely stuff. Gift, thank you so much uh, for coming into studio and chatting to us. And we wish you all the best of luck on this next chapter and in this next chapter of your baseball journey. Thank you very much for having me. That's Gift Nguepe, who is a professional baseball player, made history not only for South Africa, but also the continent in April this year as he uh, made his debut in the majors. Let's continue now with...